Hey guys, what's up? Stock Retail coming back to you on a Saturday with a quick hit video because um, I'm just going to cut right to it. I am really ticked off and sick of fake news, sick of lies about AMC, and I'm just going to use maths. Yes, I said maths on purpose. Um, I'm going to use maths because maths are like hips and the hips don't lie and the maths don't lie. So we're going to deal with some fake news spreaders. I'm going to show you how there's a network of them. A lot of the largest accounts on Twitter in particular that are pumped and promoted are just not serving your best interests. And you guys know if you've been in AMC, you are fighting corruption at the biggest, most powerful levels. Um, we have been dealing with that for years. These are very rich, very powerful, very corrupt people, I believe, that we are fighting. Uh, and so they are not above using influencers to try to defeat us. So I'm going to show you what's been going on. Um, if you're you know, not on Twitter slash X, you may be missed. Over the Labor Day weekend in particular, we had a lot of fake news spreading to the point that Adam even came out and tweeted about it on Tuesday and spoke up about it. Um, and the thing is, you know, uh, I had spoken up, Adam had spoken up, it kind of felt like it was dying off as a topic, but it got resurrected today and by some of the largest accounts on X. And so I'm just going to deal with them. So we're going to go through this, probably a quick video, and let's just jump to it. So first off, I'm just going to take it head on. These are the accounts so far that I have seen specifically, uh, basically attacking AMC, um, spreading lies. You know, it's one thing I've talked to you about you know, the term conspiracy theory sometimes being a way to to sort of put down, you know, like we believe, like say that there's naked shorting or that there's market manipulation. Um, you know, you could call those conspiracy theories. Those are real things that I believe are happening. But there is a type of conspiracy theory where people are just pumping their own uh, uh, posts for likes and clicks and all that. It's just clickbait. They're making money off of these posts. But they're also stirring up a feeling of um, resentment and anger and bitterness towards things that are good in some cases. And so I want you to see the people who, in a way, are creating an environment of sort of like I said, negativity and dislike for the very things which are good for us. Like, I think you and I would all agree, AMC defeating the corruption of Wall Street um, and some connection to some high-level politicians, that, that's a good thing, right? Um, that is a freedom-fighting issue. We are trying to take back our culture and our... Um, our financial systems from people who we believe are manipulating it and controlling it. And so here are people who are actually working against AMC. So it just quickly draws lines in the sand that says these are not on the good side. Um, and you recognize probably a lot of these. And so I just want you to know, and I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you some of their posts. I'm going to show you what they're saying. These are people who have flat out, um, I, I believe honestly that there's possible lawsuits we could have here because this is libel and slander. They're literally saying that AMC is with ill intent and with a purpose trying to um, undermine the City of Dreams uh, you know, movie. That's why I've got that there. Um, and by the way, let's take this really serious for a minute because what I'm going to do too is, is uh, compare Sound of Freedom and City of Dreams and just show you what's been going on with these movies. And the math just makes it really clear what's going on. I am not at all talking about the stories of these. Human trafficking is a huge, huge issue. I live in Oregon, as you know. I've seen before, I don't, I don't know for sure, I haven't fact-checked this, I don't know if it's true, but I have heard before and seen before that the I-5 corridor, that's the freeway that goes from Canada to Mexico here, goes through Washington, Oregon, California, that supposedly it's like the most heavily, um, it's like the most human trafficking maybe in the country or maybe I'm not sure. So anyway, the point is it's near and dear to my heart. I, I posted about City of Dreams and was supporting it before it came out because I said we actually heard about uh, just half an hour away from me, there literally was basically some financial slaves. There were some migrants who had come to Oregon who effectively got tricked into being in a really bad situation and were kept at the back of this building um, and were working all kinds of crazy hours and sort of never allowed to leave and were really abused and mistreated. So this stuff is real, okay? Human trafficking is a real issue and needs to be dealt with, and I applaud people bringing a spotlight to it. But there's something going on with this movie and the people circling around this movie that there's a real problem, and it's distracting from the real issue that we ought to be talking about. And so people attacking AMC, I know that they are not on the right team, and I want you to know about that. So first of all, you know, I said maths are like hips and maths don't lie. Um, I'm going to jump 
uh, we're going to come back to look at this side by side, but first I'm going to jump uh, so that I can show you a little bigger. I'm just on Box Office Mojo. You can go check this for yourself. You can look up a movie and get down to the daily box office for it. So here we are in Sound of Freedom, and I click down on Domestic, okay? And I'm going to show you by day. So take a look at this. You remember, this was just last year when this released, and I'll tell you, it was a really big surprise. I did not have uh, almost anything forecast for this, because that's that's the other tell here. Usually these kinds of movies are pretty small. So last year, I didn't have a forecast for this. Just like this year, I didn't bother with a forecast for City of Dreams, because I already knew it would probably be pretty small. Sound of Freedom was amazing. It just took off like wildfire, and I think that's really great. It was highlighting an issue. But let's look here, so you can see literally down to the day, um, how much did it take in at the box office? This is domestic we're looking at. These are huge numbers, guys. 14 million, four, three, five, seven, seven, four, three, four, blah, 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 blah. But then all of a sudden, look, it picked back up again. And I think that was the whole pay it forward, if I remember right. Like people were sort of buying tickets so that more people would go and, and word of mouth really spread. And it just, and you can see it was the number one movie, number two movie, number three, number one, uh, number two for a while. This movie did really, really well. Um, and then look, you can see how many theaters it was in, and because it was doing so well, it ended up adding theaters. That, hold on to that thought, that's going to matter when we look at City of Dreams. And then look at the, this is the key, that's really, this is the smoking gun that's going to tell you these guys are spreading fake news about City of Dreams. Look at the average per screen, okay, so this is screens really when it says theaters. Average per screen, uh, opening day, 5,000. Then you can see like kind of 1,500 to 2,000 a day for a while. Then remember it jumped again. So here we get back to two or 3,000 a screen. That's fantastic. That's really productive. Let's remind ourselves, AMC, and it's not just AMC. All of the other theater exhibitors, uh, movie exhibitors, they only make money if people are seeing a movie. And, and so screens are limited and you want screens to be productive and you have to allocate the screens to whichever movies you think are going to bring traffic into the door. Right now, we've got Despicable Me 4, we've got Twisters, uh, we've got Beetlejuice, which obviously is having a huge weekend. Um, we've got Deadpool and Wolverine, we've got It Ends With Us. We've got a lot of movies that are still bringing in traffic. So you have to, if you're going to bring a movie... Uh, into a theater, you're going to have to be able to show that you can beat some other movie um, and bring in sales. So hold that thought about these sort of anywhere from one to even $5,000 a screen. Now let's go over to City of Dreams, okay? So here's City of Dreams. First of all, it's been out a week. It's only sold one and a half million dollars of tickets. Sound of Freedom sold 10 times that in just the first day. So already you're saying, whoa, 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 this is not the same. Um, it was in, now I want you to notice, look at these first seven days, because today what you're going to see, and I'm going to show you these tweets, people are saying, oh, AMC is removing uh, screens and they're dropping it and, and it's because they don't want you to see this. That means uh, the government, literally people, these are, you know, millions of people, uh, followers, types of accounts saying, oh, the government told AMC to pull these. Guys, look, first off, for seven days, it had the exact same amount of screens. No change. It was not pulled. Notice the average per day. 1,100 was the best on opening day, and it just fell off a cliff immediately. You guys didn't go see this movie. You guys, meaning the entire nation. I don't mean like you listening to this. Um, 200 bucks per screen drops quickly. I mean, we're only on day five, and it's down to $90 a screen. Let's go back to Sound of Freedom. I'm scrolling, 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 scrolling. We don't get down into the 90s until seven weeks in. No, eight weeks in. Eight weeks in Sound of Freedom, and it's at about a hundred bucks a screen. And you can see then it pops back up every weekend. We're not even eight days in, and you get down to less than $50 per screen. So you can't tell me that an exhibitor is going to be okay. Guys, that's like four sales. That's four seats. If it's 11 bucks a ticket, you know, maybe it's five seats at 10 bucks a ticket or something. You're not going to run a movie on five people coming to see it. You just aren't going to do that. So I, I just think the math tells you right away, this did not have an audience. This is not an exhibitor's issue. This is an audience issue. People did not come to see this movie. But now let me show you what's been going on. Uh, let's see here. 
Okay, I'm in my Twitter. Uh, I still call it Twitter, guys. It's just force to have it. So here's Wall Street Silver, right? Like a very, very large account. And I see a lot of you guys reposting these, this guy. By the way, someone showed me today. Um, I want to make sure this is true. But she, she replied, you can see on one of my threads, showed court documents. So let's be careful here because I haven't done DD. A person showed me in a reply, allegedly this account uh, got convicted for child abuse. And this is someone you're all out there, you know, not you all, some of you are out there reposting because you think they're for you. And I have seen them attack AMC before. I have had them muted for two years because they just say a lot of stuff I don't agree with. Um, I do not see this as a good account. Well, here they are. Notice AMC is making it impossible to see City of Dreams by pulling it from screens. Let's go back. If you owned a theater and it was making... 40 bucks a showing, you would pull that movie. You would not show it. You would say, sorry, guys, you got to give me a movie that sells more tickets. But here they're out there saying, oh, it's all just some huge conspiracy. You know, it doesn't stop there. Um, here's Gunther Eagleman. He's a big account. Tell Elon, you got to put this thing on X because they, you know, they, the man, is, is sort of shutting it down. Listen, we all know the machine hates AMC right? The machine is not pro AMC. So people fighting AMC, in my opinion, are basically fighting for the machine. We had um, this, she's called the redheaded libertarian. You can see I've muted these people. Uh, redheaded libertarian jumps in. If AMC theaters are being asked by the government to censor this movie, which I don't know, typo there, but you know what? I won't jump on her for that. I, I have plenty of typos myself. Uh, then it means they're over the target. Listen, same topic, human trafficking. Look at these numbers from Sound of Freedom. For months, this thing ran. Look at the numbers. Domestic, 184 million. International, 66 million. Worldwide, 250 million. These two are not the same. Okay, so that is why I'm saying maths are like hips. Um, so short video today. I just wanted to show you and I really really invite you to go see all the uh, posts that these accounts have had and then notice I, I, I had a post recently where I said once you see uh, the networks uh, a lot of that has to do more with people who've been kind of anti AMC and pro shorts uh, but once you start to see like this group here they all it's one big circle they retweet each other and they all tweet at Elon and Elon supports them too so that raises a lot of questions as well uh, which side is he on um, I would just look really, really closely at very large accounts. I had a whole video I did for you guys maybe two years ago where I talked about influencers. People want to influence your mind to get to your wallet. So you got to watch these people. And if you are in AMC, I think you should be taking this personally. They're attacking your investment. That is robbing you of money in your account. I think you should be taking this personal. And the way you deal with it, I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you these people are paid by clicks. They're paid for clicks. So mute them and block them. Take away their oxygen. Take away their clicks. Mute these people. Get them off your feed because when they go through your feed and your eyeballs see it, that's money for them. So you do you, but I have muted every single one of these people because I'm not dealing with people attacking my investment. You ought to be taking this personally. And it doesn't matter if they're out there posting things that you agree with politically. They're out here attacking your investment. And I've told you so many times, look for people with credibility and integrity. Well, it's a lack of integrity if they're out there making up lies and accusations about your investment that you know are not true. All right. So my point is the machine doesn't like to lose power or money. So if these people are supporting the machine, they've told you which team they're on. When someone tells you who they are, listen to them the first time. Don't just hope that they're, you know, don't, don't like ignore your gut and your eyes see it but you know what guys we're fine i look at the last video we are about to make a ton of profit these people can't deal with us they can't stop us we are the apes so go see a movie and you know we will win